Pwede mo naman naman yung phone ko. Choke lang nga eh. <laughs> hey guys, it's your Tagal Mary and welcome back to my channel. And nakita nyo naman yung intro. Tatlo yung Realme X3 Super Zoom natin. It was just actually a joke that I'm trying to, to do. Tapos nakita ni Jason. So yes, yung isa pa kay Jason and yung isa. So ito yung 1 million giveaway natin in collaboration with Realme. I'll be announcing guys the mechanics either on my YouTube channel or on my Facebook page. Very soon kapag na-reach na natin yung 1 million. Pero for now, teaser muna. So, so ayun, salamat pala kay Realme for sponsoring the 1 million giveaway for this milestone. Alam kong mahal din nila yung family. So, abangan guys. So, eto na, mag-focus tayo sa video natin. This is the Realme X3 Super Zoom. Ulit-ulit ako, no? This? This? <laughs> Parang nakailan akong this. Here sa atin sa Philippines, guys, madalas kilala talaga ang Realme sa budget devices or even sa mid-range segment. And this time, guys, Realme is really going beyond our expectations. Kasi ako din naman, akala ko, syempre, pag Realme, mid-range or budget phone lang talaga. But this time, meron silang flagship. And let me get my cat here pala and alisin na natin yung plastic na tong Realme X3 Super Zoom. By the way, guys, no, very familiar lang naman din yung box ng Realme ngayon. Same lang sa mga mid-range or um, budget phones nila. Hindi naman nila binago. So, it's still all yellow with the branding in front. Yung plastic natin, alisin natin. At oo nga pala guys, itong variant na meron ako, this is the 12 gig of RAM with 256 gig of internal storage. Pinik ko para, para sure. And tama naman. Meron tayong jelly case dito guys na black ang kulay. And medyo may kakapalan siya. At syempre yung ating information guys. And the phone itself, yes guys, it's white. I will be telling you kung ano yung special dito sa phone na to. And by the way, naka, nauna kasi nag-unbox si Jason. So alam ko na kung anong, ano bang dapat kong expect Ano bang meron dito sa back part na to. Meron tayong USB Type-C charging cable. Meron din tayong 30 watt flash charger. Ito yung power brick natin. Ayan ang size and 30 watt siya. Grabe. And lastly, my favorite yung ating panandot or the SIM ejector tool. So, ito na guys yung phone natin mismo. Alisan na natin yung plastic. Ito yung tinatawag nila na Arctic White. I know it might look familiar to you kasi nga Halos ganito rin naman yung design na nakita natin sa Realme XT. Medyo similar kung makikita nyo dito sa camera. Pero in person, ibang-iba po. Kasi yung sa Realme XT, medyo smudge magnet yon And digitin talaga siya ng fingerprint. This specific color, itong Arctic White, meron siyang soft matte finish guys. And take note, hindi po siya smudge magnet. Parang may specific coating na nilagay si Realme para hindi siya, alam niyo yun, dikitan ng fingerprint. May isa pa siyang kulay, yung glacier blue naman. Iba yung material na ginamit doon. So, kung medyo alam niyo yun, pasmado kayo katulad ko, then go for the Arctic White. Pero kung gusto niyo naman na medyo mas flashy yung kulay at walang problema sa inyo kung dikitan ng fingerprint, then may jelly case naman, then go for the blue one. Actually guys, yung pangalan ng mga kulay nitong Realme X3 Super Zoom, parang inspired talaga siya ng, alam niyo, mga malalamig na lugar. Now for the camera setup guys, actually wala naman masyadong special sa kanya kasi same pa rin naman doon sa mga previous Realme devices na pa vertical. Pero if you will look closely ah, meron siyang Realme ring which is not a Realme ring anymore kasi nga hindi na siya bilog. Pa square na siya na gold accent. Siyempre guys, gustong i-highlight ng Realme yung periscopic lens niya. And yung likod niya sa mga nagtatanong kung anong klaseng material yung ginamit, it's actually glass pero hindi po in-specify ng Realme kung anong klase, kung Corning Gorilla Glass 5 ba, basta glass siya. And for the frame naman guys, it's actually made of plastic. Nung una, akala namin ni Jason guys, aluminum siya kasi nga yung kulay niya. Pero pag naramdaman mo na, plastic siya. Actually guys, katulad nga ng sinabi ko kanina, ito yung flagship nila at ito yung kauna-unahang flagship na inilabas nila dito sa atin sa Philippines. Sa ibabaw, meron tayong secondary microphone. Sa kanan, meron tayong power button that doubles as a side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Sa kaliwa, nandito yung ating volume rockers. And below, we have a SIM card tray, another microphone, USB Type-C port, and yung kanyang speaker grill. Okay, so may dalawa akong gustong i-point out. 
Ito yung ating SIM card 3. And yes po, dual SIM siya. So, good news yun sa mga dalawa ang ginagamit na SIM card. Pero ang bad news, hindi po siya expandable storage. Isa pang gusto kong i-point out, wala po tayong headphone jack. Which is actually not new to me anymore dahil madalas naman kapag mga flagships ng kahit na anong brand pa yan, inaalis talaga nila ang headphone jack. Not surprising but kinda disappointing. Hindi pa na dalawa yung gusto kong i-point out. Tatlo pala. <laughs> yung pangatlo na gusto kong i-point out. As you heard earlier, meron tayong side-mounted fingerprint sensor. Now, bakit nasa gilid yung fingerprint sensor, Mary? Yes, guys, wala po tayong in-display fingerprint sensor dahil hindi po siya AMOLED or super AMOLED display. IPS LCD siya and probably this is the reason why kahit na flagship siya, feeling ko hindi masyadong pang flagship ang price. Meron tayong 6.6 inches LCD panel with 120Hz refresh rate and Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Alam ko narinig nyo yun, 120Hz screen refresh rate. I know. Ang sarap pakinggan, ba? Parang ang smooth. Parang wow, ang bilis. Sa tingin ko, tama lang na ginawa nila to na ginawa nilang 120Hz screen refresh rate dahil dapat naman talaga yung mga flagship devices ngayon this 2020 should really opt for a higher refresh rate. At gusto ko lang ding i-point out guys na kahit LCD panel siya, it's one of the LCD displays na nakita ko. Vivid at accurate pa rin yung kulay but for the brightness, medyo nakulangan lang ako ng konti. And since nasa display na rin naman tayo, alam ko nakakita niya na yes, meron po tayong dual punch hole sa kanyang harapan. And medyo okay lang. Sakto lang. Kasi nakita ko na rin naman to sa Realme 6 Pro. Para naman sa kanyang audio, uulitin ko meron tayong single speaker at the bottom. Wala tayong headphone jack. Pero Dolby Atmos ito. Yes guys, single mono downward firing speaker lang. Medyo madali lang siyang matakpan kapag alam niyo nanonood kayo ng movies or kapag naglalaro kayo. Pero okay naman ako sa volume output niya. And by the way, alam kong gusto nyo rin malaman kung medyo mabigat ba yung smartphone or mag-aang lang ba siya. Actually guys, it is the same weight with the Realme 6 Pro. So kung naka Realme 6 Pro ka, yes, this is 202 gram. Sakto lang, hindi naman siya yung sobrang gaang. Hindi rin naman yung sobrang bigat katulad ng ibang flagship smartphones na halos 226 grams ang weight. By the way guys, para sa kanyang refresh rate, you can only choose between 60Hz and 120Hz. You cannot choose the in-between yung 90Hz. Kasi yung ibang flagship devices, pwede kayong mamili 60, 90, and 120. Now let's proceed to the performance. Actually guys, it has the flagship chipset that we have sa mga flagship devices last year. Ito ay merong Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 Plus. Meron siyang UFS 3.0 storage. Okay, alam nyo guys, Hindi man flagship yung binibigay or ino-offer ng Realme. Talagang na-prove na nila yung sarili nila when it comes to gaming, multitasking. Alam kong impressive na and even in real life, even Jason, sabi niya sobrang smooth talaga. And in terms of gaming, talagang alam mo yun, lutang na lutang yung mga nilalaro niyang games kahit na hindi siya AMOLED display. Meron din siyang 7 nanometer octa-core chipset, Adreno 640 GPU. And by the way, alam kong madalas nakakalimutan ko tong sabihin sa mga review ko or even um, first impressions. Pero yung network connectivity and wifi connection niya, okay naman. Now, para sa kanyang software, guys, don't worry, pag-uusapan natin ang camera sa dulo. Dahil ang camera ang pinaka, alam niyo yun, selling point ng smartphone na to. It has the Realme UI based on Android 10. Again, guys, lagi ko namang sinasabi kapag Realme UI ang usapan, okay yan, wala akong problema. It is a very well-balanced software skin. Actually, guys, the only pet peeve na ayoko doon sa Realme UI ay is yung mga preloaded apps niya or yung tinatawag nating bloatware. But again, may mga apps naman na pwede niya install or i-delete or may mga apps din kasi guys na bawal talagang alisin. Now, para sa biometrics niya, may dalawa siya. Meron siyang side-mounted fingerprint sensor again and a face unlock. Alam niyo guys, medyo nasad lang ako na again side-mounted siya pero naiintindihan ko naman dahil LCD panel nga to. But overall guys, face unlock and again the side-mounted fingerprint sensor, no problem at all. Mabilis at accurate naman sila. Ang Realme X3 Super Zoom guys, it has a 4200mAh battery capacity paired with 30 watt 
fast charging. We were able to fully charge the Realme X3 Super Zoom guys in an hour. And take note, hindi rin ganun na bumabagal yung charging even while gaming. At syempre, bago ko makalimutan guys, meron din palang liquid cooling system itong Realme X3 Super Zoom. Syempre, eto guys, nakakatulong to para ma-maintain yung temperature at a normal level, especially kapag alam nyo yun, talagang madalas kayong maglaro ng mga high graphic intensive games or kaya naman nag-charge kayo habang naglalaro. So, malalaman nyo rin yan sa full review natin kung effective ba talaga yung liquid cooling system nila. Now, dito na tayo guys sa talagang ano nyo yung selling point ng Realme X3 Super Zoom. Ano ba? Ano bang meron? Ano bang bago, Mary? Ang kanyang primary sensor ay 64 megapixels f1.7 aperture at ang kanyang image sensor ay Samsung GW1. Meron din siyang 8 megapixels ultra wide angle lens 8 megapixels f3.4 aperture for the periscopic lens. And ito rin yung reason kung bakit tinawag na super zoom itong Realme X3. Dahil sa kanyang focal length guys na 124mm, capable siya ng 5 times optical zoom up to 60 times digital zoom. Oh and before I forget, meron din siyang 2 megapixels for the macro lens. So ano din bang bago doon sa kanyang camera application? So punta tayo sa camera app at ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga nadagdag. So merong tinatawag na star mode itong Realme X3 Super Zoom. All you have to do is of course open the camera app, go to night mode, and doon sa gitnang ibabaw na bahagi may makikita kayong parang mga stars. Kapag clinic nyo yan, lalabas ang starry mode on. So itong starry mode guys, medyo mas enhanced night photography to. Especially if you are into astronomical photography. We tried using it guys. I'm not sure lang kung naging successful siya or kung minuhunan kaming stars kasi nga during that night I think nung trinay namin ni Jason Wala na? Wala ng stars? So, ang clear ng sky, pero wala ng stars. Feeling ko kasi uulan nun, pero itatry ko talaga guys once or before a publishing this video. It takes 5 minutes para ma-achieve nyo yung gusto nyong shot which is why kailangan nyo talagang gumamit ng tripod. Besides that guys, meron siyang again AI Nightscape Mode, Tripod Mode, Ultra Nightscape Mode, and Nightscape Pro Mode. At syempre, no, bago ko makalimutan yung front camera niya, meron tayong dual camera setup in front. Meron tayong unang-una yung 32 megapixels f2.5 aperture for the primary camera at 8 megapixels para sa ultra-wide angle lens niya. So yes guys, ayun yung mga sample photos and videos natin for the Realme X3 Super Zoom. I will be more detailed sa ating review and price reveal but for now, first impressions muna. Now syempre hindi mawawala ang early verdict. Ano ba ang mga pros and cons para sa'yo? Mary. Actually, dalawa lang yung cons ko. Unahin natin yun. Una, medyo nadiliman lang talaga ako sa kanyang brightness. Pangalawa, it has no headphone jack and a micro SD slot. Actually, tatlo yun pero ginawa kong dalawa kasi... Actually, tatlo yun. Siyempre, unang-una yung 120Hz capability niya sa display. Yung settings menu niya, sobrang smooth. Excellent din ang kanyang battery life and even the charging. At syempre, performance, hindi naman natin yan maiaalis. 12GB RAM combined with a Snapdragon 855 Plus. Actually, yung naging Antudo benchmark result nga nitong Realme X3 Super Zoom, mas mataas pa po kaysa sa Huawei P40 Pro Plus. At syempre, yung kanyang 5x periscopic telephoto lens. Anyway, that is it for now guys for our unboxing and first impressions of the Realme X3 Super Zoom. I am hoping na hindi siya sana tumaas ng 30,000 pesos. Kung may mga guess kayo guys kung magkano itong Super Zoom ng Realme X3. Ano? Kung, kung may guess kayo guys kung magkano itong Realme X3 Super Zoom, let me know in the comment section below. Again, it's your Tagal Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys! Bye!